Well, you know, boat building has its own language. And for you old salts who know what a broad strake is and what a shear plank is, you can hit the fast forward button. But for you first time boat builders, we need to review some of the terms and what they mean. We'll start with the jig. The strong back are the planks on which the station molds attach. It's the foundation of the jig. It has a spreader amidships on the canoe jigs, and I call that the strong back spreader. Next, we have the station molds, and they're made out of half-inch plywood for the canoes, and they represent the cross sections of the hull. There's a cleat attached to the bottom of the station molds. I usually make that out of scrap lumber, an inch and a half square. At the top of the jig, is the backbone. It connects all the molds together and allows me to plumb the molds to the strong back. Next we have the rib ends. The rib ends are longitudinal clear stock. They represent their thickness, the width of the lap, and their spacing represents the actual width of the planks. They run the full length of the jig and it's important to make those out of clear soft wood. And lastly, we have a piece that attaches to the forward and after ends of the strong back. I call this the strong back filler piece. And it's a piece of one inch stock that has an angle cut on it, the same angle that the stem comes off the keelson. Now let's talk about the hull itself. The keelson is a longitudinal member like a keel, but is on the inside of the boat, the keelson. The stems attach at the ends of the keelson and beneath it. The planking is fastened to the stems. The garboard planks attach to the keelson and they're the first planks that go on the boat. Next, the second plank is the broad strake, which I sometimes refer to. That attaches to the garboard. The broad strake is the second plank. The rest of the planks probably have some boat building name. I'm not sure what it is. Down to the shear plank. The shear plank is the one at the gunnel, the very last plank or the top plank. Attaching to the shear planks are the gunnels, or in whales and out whales, or sometimes called guard rails. There's an, one on the inside of the boat and the outside of the boat. They're spaced apart in my canoes with the little blocks of wood that I call spacer blocks. The stems are the two curved pieces at the end in profile view. And on the outside of the stems, we have a stem band, or sometimes called stem irons in the old days when they were made out of iron. These are 3 8 inch brass half oval that goes on the outside of the canoe and protects the outside edge of the stems. Once again, inside, there's breast hooks. They're the little pieces up in the most forward ends of the canoe, forward and after ends of the canoe, and they attach the hull together where the ends meet. There's a floor piece in my canoes which is a floor, and underneath it, some wedge-shaped pieces, which I call, sort of jokingly, floor timbers. They're very lightweight, clabbered-shaped wedges that take up the space between the keelson and the garboard plank. And lastly, there's a thwart. Thwarts are, thwart is a term that is used with pieces that go athwart ships or across the center line of the boat. Sometimes seats are referred to as thwarts or sometimes they're simply just small sticks or planks that hold the canoe together at the rails. In the little canoe we're building in this movie, it has a backrest thwart with pads on it that pivot. 